I'm Faye from Nature Makers and welcome to day three of the challenge five day nature play challenge for early years. So we're on day three which is all about bringing the inside out. So your challenge is how can you bring the inside out? And that is my motto, if in doubt bring the inside out. You know even if it's raining to be fair but if there's something that you're doing inside whether it's reading, drawing, um, anything play really can you be doing it outside so I'm gonna take you for a tour around my garden where I've got set up some stations of some ideas for activities that you can do to bring the inside out but it really is over to you so the first idea is a bit from yesterday how about bringing your art outside so whether you've got an easel or just a paper and a pencil bring it outside okay and I'm gonna head off and show you some of the others so the first of our small world setups that I've done around my garden is Dinosaur Land. Now my son absolutely loves dinosaurs and Dinosaur Land and we picked up all of these uh, from charity shops all gifted to us uh, by friends and family. So it's fantastic because what we're able to do here is we're able to utilise some of the natural structures that we've got in our garden. So we've got this, uh, this raised border here so we can maybe put some of the track up there setup that we can change around the garden or we can add to or take away as well so it really is about you can either hand it over to them and say create their own small world setup for dinosaur land or you can do what I often do create it in advance whilst they're having a nap and then when they come down oh wow that's amazing and it's then over to them and let their imagination and their play take over I have to say though as well you do have to be aware of some of your um, things that you have in your own garden or wherever you're doing this so think about uh, where you're doing it and what your child is familiar with so my child knows not to eat or touch or use rhubarb leaves that's why I'm okay putting it there but I know that rhubarb leaves can be poisonous if digested uh, so if your child is one of those that's still in the mouth then obviously think carefully about where you're putting your setup. Okay, on to the next small world space. So in this setup I've got a couple of different things happening. I've got um, our wooden rainbow which we do use quite a lot actually. It's a really good one to use to bring outside to do go find it, to do colour matching, um, to hide and seek, quite a lot of things. But I'm using it in this particular um, setup, which is all kind of our fairy world. So th these are some things that we've picked up from the charity shops. And basically we've incorporated, again, different heights, um, what we've got uh, to work with around here. And then the child can develop that, move it around the garden, come back to it and just create their own little role plays really and their own little um, play with the scenario that's going on here as well. So what we've done in our garden is we've created a few different seating areas. Some of them are so that our son can actually go and have a bit of quiet time for himself. But also we've got a couple of areas that are perfect for if we want to do some story time. So we've got this little seated area and we can just bring outside some books why read it inside if you can read it outside? This particular one is about jungles, so then we could have a small world set up about jungles and incorporate that as well around the garden. See what books you've got in your house that you can read outside. So we really love eating outside. Picnics outside, breakfasts outside, whatever you can do with eating outside, do it. But if you're not going to do that, how, or you've just done that, how about also doing a teddy bear's picnic outside? So get a blanket, get some food, get their favourite teddies out, and again, it's a bit of a setup for them to play with. Um, but it'd be great if you could incorporate it with, like I say, eating outside yourself. So we've had a few setups where it's positioned around the garden and it involves the landscape of the garden but it doesn't necessarily involve the actual nature in the garden. This particular setup with diggers is great for involving the garden. So the idea is that you're digging, you're picking up the soil, maybe you incorporate that with a bit of 
water, to make it mud, get it messy, have, mu have fun. Um, we've actually got some red currants here as well, so um, this is one that my son knows he is allowed to have, um, so he could pick off the red currants, put them in here, chip it up, so he knows that this particular area, um, luckily he won't pick all of these flowers, or at least hopefully he won't, but he knows that he can have a few of the leaves, a few of the flowers, he can play with the soil, and he can play with the berries as well. It's a safe space for him to let, let him develop his creativity, his uh, play, his imagination, and get messy if need be as well, if he wants to. So, uh, so those are just a few of the small world um, and outside setups that we've created in terms of encouraging you to bring the inside out. So it'd be great to see what you guys are getting up to at home. So don't forget to tag us at Nature Makers and hashtag five day nature play so we can see what you're getting up to. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we will try to help as best as we can.